Hi, in this tutorial, I will walk you through how to use Nearpod to plan your next Saturday school session. Um, it is quite easy to do and it will save you hopefully some time in the future if you unexpectedly need to um, teach a Saturday school session or maybe something in the after school as an after school program the first thing you want to do is you want to log into your nearpod account from the nearpod website um, you will see up here on the right corner there's a login if you click on it and sign up through your omsd um, email you should be able to access all the features using your district license um, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a folder that says Saturday school, just like this one here. Um, this is very easy to do. All you have to do is click on folder and then title it Saturday school. And then you can create it like this. As you see, this one is already created. Um, there are zero items in there. So as you find lessons and uh, duplicate them, you will house them here in this folder. And then I will show you how to organize it even um, a little more uh, just, uh, succinctly with dates. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your Nearpod library here, click on this, and um, usually uh, Nearpod will give you some current ideas to launch lessons. But if you want to be a little bit more specific, so we're in December right now, maybe you want to teach your kids a little bit about snow. So I could literally type the word snow in the search menu. And over here on the left side, you will see a choice. You can either have Nearpod uh, funnel these through videos, activities, or lessons. So right now I wanna uh, just click on lessons. I only wanna see lessons that are ready to go that have to do with snow. So as you see, you have a lot of choices here. The first thing that catches my eye is this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to preview. And uh, this is a really nice option because if you look on the top right corner, you will notice that there are 36 slides here, which means that it is a, a substantial lesson. It probably includes a lot of activity. So this will definitely keep your kids busy um, with a fun activity about snow leopards. Now you, you do need to um, watch out because as you see up here, uh, this lesson in particular requires the paid subscription to New ELA. So um, it probably will not be something that you wanna use. So as you see this, uh, some of the Nearpod lessons do require a subscription to certain platforms. I know that New ELA is one of them. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. Uh, I'm gonna look over here under this elementary lessons that have to do something with snow. Um, if you can look down here, you will see that this bundle has five lessons. I'm going to look at this one called Science in Antarctica. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, this one doesn't need any type of paid subscription to anything. So I'm going to go ahead and preview it. And uh, this tells you a little bit about the lesson. And it will also, as you can see here, it says by the end of this lesson, you will be able to write a paragraph uh, explaining three reasons scientists want to conduct research in Antarctica. So I know my students are going to be required to write a, a paragraph, which is great. We always want some writing involved in some sort of a Saturday school situation. Um, as you preview it, you will see that there are different engaging activities this one has a virtual reality activity embedded in there um, they also had open-ended questions you can again preview everything that this has so as you go through it and you decide this is a lesson i want to um, save i'm interested in launching it with my students i'm going to go ahead and add it to my lessons right here so if you enjoy it and you like it as is you're going to go ahead and put it um, or include a copy of it in your lessons. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like over here. Oh, there it is. So you see that is one that you are definitely want, going to want to use for perhaps a Saturday school session. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag this over here to that folder. 
now it's in there. As you can see right here, it tells you there is one item inside that Saturday School. So let's go back over here to Nearpod Library. I'm going to go ahead and type in snow. I have one um, activity for, English, for ELA. I'm going to go ahead and click on Lessons. I might want to try um, to look for a science lesson. I noticed this one, and even though it says grades K to 2, you can always edit the lessons to fit whichever grade level you want to teach them. So if you're teaching Saturday School and you have perhaps a grades uh, third, fourth, and fifth, that would be a band or a range that you would want to keep in mind as you investigate and look for lessons to teach during your Saturday School. So this one is the water cycle and um, it does tell you um, some of the uh, activities that students will be engaged in. They're going to start off with a poll. Then they move on to a collaborate board. It will tell you some ideas on how to use the videos, uh, why they included them. Here's a video of a dog playing in the rain. Then the students will have to discuss something that has to do with that. Um, this is a draw it. It tells you right here to draw a picture. I can tell it's a draw it through this bar right here. Whenever this appears, I know it's a draw it. Um, and then there's another video about disappearing puddles. So as you see, this is also an engaging video. It's more science focused. So, um, and I can tell up here that there's 35 slides to it. So it's a pretty good size lesson. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to my library. Now remember, just because you're adding it doesn't mean you have to launch it. It just means you're uh, keeping all of these inside a folder to use um, as potential Saturday school activities. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. So you can see these are ready to launch. Um, if you were teaching Saturday school, you would have um, you will have prepped different activities here for them to do. All right, so then I have two items there. These will keep my students pretty engaged and busy for a full um, Saturday school. Perhaps you were thinking of um, including an art activity. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a fun way to do that. So over here, I'm gonna go to YouTube and I am going to include Art for Kids Hub. This is a great, um, this is a great Art for Kids. Um, if you've never, if you've never used Art for Kids, it's a really fun, easy to, um, to draw tutorials for kids. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and type in snow and I'm going to see which um, videos they can use for snow, how to draw winter landscape, how to draw cute snow people hugging, how to draw snow globe, how to draw a winter village. So there's a lot of options you can do. Um, perhaps you would want to, if you're learning about the water cycle or snowflakes, you may want to try this one, how to draw snowflake. So I'm going to go ahead and edit these commercials, wait for it. Let me go ahead and skip those ads. And so it they show you step by step how to draw a snowflake. You can insert some math perhaps with geometry and symmetry here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link up here. And in Nearpod, if you do a create um, combine videos with built-in lessons. I'm going to just do create a video. And over here it says YouTube. So I'm going to click on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and drop the link that I, there it is. So remember how we found it over here. You copy the link, you drop it in here, you click on it. And this is the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click save here. and it's ready to go. So uh, you can add um, questions if you want to, but I just want my kids to um, 
to view this video on their own and then you can supply them with paper pencils and crayons and so forth so that way it is an interactive activity they're not just using the digital platform but you're mixing it with actual paper pencil and crayons so i'm going to go ahead and save it and it's going to save it as a standalone video so when you launch this all the students are going all they're going to do is actually watch the video and interact with it so i'm going to go ahead and click and drag this over here to saturday school so now we have um we have three items here when you launch this one and your students are um, receiving this the code this one you want to do it as student pace so this one means that the students will have the ability to stop pause um, and even rewind the video on their own. This one over here, you wanna launch as live participation. That means that the students need to follow your pace as you teach the items and give them enough time. You can always launch as a student pace, but remember that some students may take a little longer than others. So it's up to you whether you want them to participate this in live participation or student paste. So now that I have three items here, we have an actual um, art activity that has to do with the theme of snow. We have a water cycle science activity or lesson that you might want to launch before you start your Saturday school activities. And then we have this um, language arts activity, Science in Antarctica, that is based more on writing. Um, obviously, if you have more time to prep, you can include other Nearpod activities. Now, what I want you to show, to what I wanted you to show you in this part of the video is how to add a folder for a specific date. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a folder, but here I'm gonna actually put the date of the next um, Saturday school. So let's say I want the theme is snow and the date for this will be 12. It will be the next Saturday school will be on the fourth, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that folder. So as you see, it's right here. So now if you wanna be very specific, you can go ahead and click and drag these right here. And now you have under Saturday School, if we come back to my lessons, under Saturday School, when you open it, you have the theme, snow, and then you have the date that you will launch these for your Saturday school. If you need future ref or future folders for future Saturday schools, you can select your theme. So let's say January, um, the theme might be New Year. And it will be, let's just say, let's just pretend the next Saturday school would be on uh, January 5th and then you can go ahead and go back to your Saturday school and you can see you already have that theme there so if you're planning on teaching Saturday schools and having these lessons ready this is a very quick and easy way to do that and you can go ahead and organize your folders so when your students come in obviously they will you will need a laptop card or the computer lab for them to access these lessons through a web platform. So you will need to make sure that you have access to that in order to make all of this work. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create Saturday school folders using Nearpod to quickly launch these lessons digitally and engage your students in learning. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.